Before we get to this video today, I want to tell you that tonight you can watch me on Twitch streaming a little Call of Duty. That is twitch.tv slash Dr. Demolition Matt. Tonight. Let's go, boys. Welcome to Demolition Wrench. I think this is the last episode, the part 10 episode of rebuilding our old ZR1. And now it's going to take a lot more work in the future, but this is the last big episode that we're going to dedicate to the old ZR1. For those who maybe this is your first ZR1 episode or you just haven't seen the car in a while, this is a 1990 Corvette ZR1. The ZR1s were super special because they came with a bunch of extra things including a wide body, but the main thing is this engine. This is an LT5 engine from the factory is rated at 375 horsepower, which was like almost double what the regular base model Corvettes had. And this is not a factory stock engine. That one is. That's the LT5 we pulled out of it. This one has been all built. It has around 600 horsepower. So it has almost double what the ZR1 had in 1990. So it should be a romper stomper. We have got it started. It runs great. It sounds amazing. We have not driven this car with this engine in it yet. We also have new Willwood brakes all the way around, drilled and slotted rotors. So good looking. We have new suspension all the way around. We have coilovers on all four corners. So nice. You can see all the extra gear we have. We have bigger sway bars front and back. New gears up there in our rear end. And this was a car that was flooded. When I got this car, it was totally junked. It had been in a flood in Houston, Texas. Uh, you can probably guess it was from Houston, Texas by all the decorations on it. But it was in a flood and it was totally broken. All the electronics totally fried on this car. So we've been going through and putting <laughs> everything back together, getting all the electronics rebuilt or replaced one by one. We also put this nice half cage back here and you guys haven't seen the carpet. We got the carpet in. It's the carpet that was in it, but it was fairly nice condition. You can see it's got a few little stains, but that's under the seat where you won't see. We were missing this carpet piece, so I need to get that ordered. It has a couple of compartments back there, which do they even open with this cage in here? Barely. They do touch it, but they, they do open. So we are slowly putting the interior back in this car. Actually, when we first got the car, things like um, switches that turn the lights on and off when you open the doors did not work. So we replaced all the guts here, the windows roll up and down, the door locks all work, the door open sensors work so the lights know when to turn on. We have some heat shielding here. This is actually better than factory. There was not really anything there before, but I remember in my old C4, I had a 1995 like 10 years ago, just a base model. And it would get very hot because your right leg rests against that tunnel right there. And you can imagine there's a lot of heat that comes from that tunnel. So we have some heat shielding as well as noise shielding right there, which will make it very comfortable to ride and you won't get all sweaty in the Texas heat when you're driving this thing. Our original gauge cluster, like half of it was working and half of it was not. So I sent it off and we got one that is totally working correct. I sent it off to batty.com. Also sent this thing in, the AC control module in for checking. Um, they also checked a few other things and fixed a few other things. So we have all working dash and electronics in this car now. This is our warning light readout. It works. Since we got new gears, I have this thing over here which adjusts our speed. It controls the speedometer and everything because our speedometer all messed up with the new gears. Um, we have a shift light installed in here. I'll show it to you in a minute, but we installed that up here in the vent. And then this whole dash is not the original dash that came out of the car. We got a replacement. It is not new, but it is really nice condition. So this thing is shaping up. You guys are gonna like the seats and steering wheel we're putting in today. Very cool. You can see we have headers down here and they are open. We're gonna put the exhaust back on here so that we can run it without making our ears bleed. From the factory, this is the factory exhaust manifold. I guess, I mean, it's a header. It's got steel primary tubes. Um, it looks like a very cool 
factory header, but comes down into a big catalytic converter. So ours do not have catalytic converters. And then also in the factory exhaust system, there's a huge resonator. This is actually an aftermarket exhaust system that came with the car. It's a Corsa exhaust, I think. Um, and this is where there used to be a huge resonator in the factory exhaust. Um, you can see ours just has these like kind of skinny, high flow resonator kind of things here. Also has an H pipe right there and then has some high flow mufflers back here. So with this, we'll have performance mufflers, we'll have no catalytic converters and we will have these high flow resonators. So it should sound really good. And then later I actually have something else plan for this thing to make it sound really, really good. But you'll have to wait for that. For now, we're just gonna put this Corsa exhaust system back up under the car. She got exhaust pipes back under there. We're missing a couple bolts that, well we have the bolts, they're just not the right size to fit on these headers. So we're gonna have to go to the store, get a couple bit longer bolts, but um, until then, these are our door panels that we made out of just sheet aluminum. Um, cut them all up to fit. They fit really nice and we actually did those bins just with some like crude tools we have in the barn. Like I used a vise and uh, they make like big sheet metal benders, but they're like 500 bucks and so we just ended up doing it ourselves and it actually turned out really nice this is the inside that you won't actually see that's the outside um, that you will see and I'm gonna put some sound deadening some insulation on these things on the inside I'm just gonna kind of cut it to fit stick it on here just to help not be as rattly and as noisy and this thing with this insulation will still be much lighter um, than the stock door panels and kind of give it a, a cool look kind of a unique like this car is not stock kind of look The one that you already saw in the car is mostly just heat shielding This one is mostly sound deadening because there's not a ton of heat coming from outside the car well, I mean, I guess it's Texas, but I had never messed with this stuff before so I didn't know if it would cut easily with scissors or a blade But it just cuts so easily with scissors so you can see I just made it close to that and it's all gonna stick to the inside so now I need to cut out little holes I need to cut out where our door handle is gonna go through and where our window switch goes through and uh, I'm gonna work on that right now and I'll be right back okay we're done there it is all insulated and now this thing goes here so I'm gonna go ahead and mount it up and I'll be right back check it out okay so we have our handle we've got our power locks you can also just do the locks there, and we have our power windows there. And listen to this. Oh, it closes so nice, not all metally and tinny sounding. Got the driver's side done as well. May need some grease, but done. I like it. Oh, that's an annoying door. And you can see it looks good from the inside too. So we are done with door panels. Nothing wrong with this steering wheel. I just wanted a newer cooler one. It's really hard to get this to go in here though. Oh, there we go. Got it. Airbag. <laughs> we don't need no stinking airbag. And then we pull this one big nut off here and I think the whole steering wheel will come out after that. Ah, ah, ah. Dang it. So I got that main nut off and then it is really stuck. So I'm threading in two bolts on each side of it and I'm going to try to use this puller to go on those bolts and push on the middle and pull it off. We'll see if that works. Puller did not work well. Uh, you can see we just ended up bending this bolt over. We don't have the right puller for the job. Uh, it did not budge. Um, not sure what we're gonna do now, but that was not right. I decided to just wait on that. I went ahead and installed the sides here to this console. As you can see, looking very good. And now uh, I think it might be time for seats. Here are the stock C401 seats. Um, just really dirty and old and hard and not comfy and also super heavy. They were all power, you know, they were, they were fancy seats and they're just all rusty because water was in this car. Uh, so those are trash. We have a box from Corbo. Let's see what's inside. You just got a footprint on my brand new seat. 
All right, try it out. How is it? Rocking. Chair. It's a rocking chair. This is a Corbo A4. It's the suede Corbo. version. It's good. Let's just set it in there and see what it looks like. Dang, look at that thing. All right, it's just sitting in there. Right yeah. now, I like it. Let's try it out. Can Oop. I try it out? Yeah, you can try it out. This feels good, very snug. And it has the cutouts back here so that we can get some race harnesses, hook them to our roll bar back there and have like a five point harness down the road. Did you just stand in my seat again? <laughs> <laughs> How is it? Comfy? You gonna go cruising with me in that thing? Can you even see over the door? It'll be up a little bit higher once I get the rails in. So I'm gonna take the thing out, put some rails in, put it back in. This demolition wrench shirt is available in the description below and it is great, let me tell you. Uh, you should totally pick one up if you want to rep some demolition wrench merch. But, uh, I just found a Corbo shirt and I'm gonna rep Corbo right now because it's pretty cool too. Uh, check this thing out, okay. Let's get some seats. You okay? Let's get some seats in this car. Yeah, I just made it look way easier than it actually was. Uh, oh my gosh, we need to fix that squeaky door. Getting these seats in here is hard. This Corvette cockpit is so, so tight in here. But, as you can see, both seats bolted in, looking amazing. Check that out. Okay, I'll link those in the description below. Burke over here is putting the finishing touches on, just need our air filter hooked on. This is the first time we've ever driven it with this engine, and the first time we've driven it with all the suspension, all the brakes, the rear end, the new gears, um, new interior, uh, roll cage. There's a bunch of new stuff, so I'm gonna be watching the gauges and going very slow on our maiden voyage, but you guys ready? Uh, I actually have not heard it with the new headers and the coarse exhaust, so let's do a little startup. Well, I need to probably put it on the ground first. Then we'll start it up. Drop it. Oh, wow. So this is the first time we've actually seen it at the ride height, too. We put those new coilovers under it, but we did not have an engine when it was on the ground, and it's been up in the air since then. So I like the front. I think the back actually needs to be dropped a little bit, which we will be able to adjust that, so yeah. And we're gonna get some different wheels as well. But for now, this is what we're gonna go with. Looks like we're a little, a little angle that way on that back wheel too. So a lot of adjusting needed or we will wear out tires pretty quick. Same deal on that side. Burke is getting them all torqued down. And, yeah man, I like it. Well I don't like, I mean it still looks really ugly, but I think it's gonna work. All right, we're gonna get this thing torqued, start it up, and let's do it. <laughs> What the heck happened over here? We're gonna have to adjust that pipe. It's a little crooked. I like it. I like it. It's meaty. Okay. Have fun. Will do. Alright, we're off. Woo! Gotta learn this clutch. Alright. Oh, oh, we scraped. Things low. All right, figuring it out, figuring it out. We're probably gonna have a few kinks to work out, obviously, because this is the very first time we were testing out a bunch of systems, which in hindsight, we probably should have like got the engine in it and left everything else alone and then fixed the brakes and then fixed the suspension, but we also were just like, let's do it all. Sounds good. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot I should check the brakes. Brakes work. <laughs> cool. Oh yeah. All right. Making sure our temperatures don't get too high. Making sure we still got oil pressure. You know, all the important things. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. That was about 5,000 RPM. This thing redlines at like 7,000. I got dust in my face. So we still got a lot left to give her but I think I'm not gonna give her today. Just a nice, easy cruise. See how she does. Man, this is awesome. I used to have a C4 and I missed it. And I'm back, baby, and I'm back. In a big way, too, I always wanted a ZR1. Mine was the puny little base model C4. Now I got a ZR1, and it's awesome. I like it. All right, let's try the brakes. I'm gonna brake hard. 
All right, that was good. I'm gonna break even harder this time. Here we go. I think I just locked them all up. Oh, a deer. Hey, you like my car? All right, let's try some turnies. Try to not drive off the road. Dude, it's sticky. Oh yeah, feels good. I like it. in prison so all good uh made it back from mexico is what i meant it was on the, the mexico trip there in the old zr1 worked good i think there's some things we need to adjust obviously suspension needs to be adjusted engine is doing great i don't think we need to do anything to that um i need to learn the first gear a little bit the clutch is just different than what I felt. So I need to learn that clutch in first gear mostly. The other gears was fine. Need to adjust the exhaust a little bit. And then the exterior, just the aesthetics of this car. I want to either wrap or paint this thing. Probably should just be painted because the, I don't know, like if I wrap this, I would still know that all this junk is underneath the wrap. I don't know. I'm considering painting. What do you guys think? Or should we just wrap this thing and just, you know, in case we ever want to see this again. So, I need ideas on color. Um, here is my idea. Tell me if you like it. I kind of want to do a matte navy blue color. What do you think? Like just a wrap, like a matte navy, like a dark blue, but matte, not glossy. And then, I think I'm gonna go a little crazy. I always wanna put black wheels on cars. Like, I just think black wheels look so cool. But I kinda wanna do something different for this one. So I was thinking of bronze wheels. Um, shiny bronze. Gloss, bronze, wheels, and matte blue. Is it too crazy? Is it too weird? You guys think it might look cool? I don't know, it's, it's what I'm kicking around. Let me know what you think. I should go make one on Forza and show it to you guys, maybe later tonight. Also, these tires are nice, but I'm gonna get some new wheels, so they'll probably, yeah, they'll definitely have new tires as well. So I'll keep this as like my backup set. So I'll have a spare set of wheels and tires, but new wheels, new tires coming. I want these things to stick out a little bit. The zero ones have wide bodies, and they also have wider wheels, but they're not wide enough. Like, they don't stick out. These wheels on a stock C4 Corvette look huge. They really stick out, but on a wide body, ZR1, they are in, and I want them to stick out at least in the back, maybe in the front a little bit, but for sure in the back. And then just a bunch of little odds and ends. We need to get carpet in the back, and we need to get some panels over here, and a boot around that shifter, and just a bunch of little things to kind of finish up this build. So, what do you guys think? Uh, let me know what you think of the old ZR1. This is definitely the final episode in the part one through 10 series. So we'll still be working on this thing. You'll still see it on the channel, but we are ending the rebuilding a destroyed ZR1 series because the destroyed ZR1 is rebuilt. The thing drives. The thing is almost ready to be street legal. So it's rebuilt. And I can't wait till I get to say that on renovating an abandoned mansion. That'll be nice too. But this thing, is rebuilt. Ladies and gentlemen, my brand spanking new 30 year old, still very ugly ZR1. But someday it's gonna look so good. Okay, check it out. We got Forza in the house. It doesn't look as good on camera as it is in real life. All right, so matte navy blue. It just really, it looks a little too purple in this. It would be more dark and less purple. So imagine that. Oh, look at that ZR1 go, boys! Oh, drifty, 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 oh, don't crash. 
Okay, so that is a zero one. It's got that zero one badge there. What are you doing? Where are you guys going? Where are y'all going? Ugh. All right, how bad's the damage? Dang it, scratch my zero one. All right, uh, I also couldn't really figure out the wheels. Stop, 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 stop rolling, quit. Okay, those are kind of bronze. I don't know, what do you think? I don't know. Man, it's a hard decision. I like it. What do you guys think? You guys think we should go with like a, that, that's not really bronze wheels, that's not what I was thinking, but similar to that with a dark matte navy color. That's what we're thinking right now. I'm totally open to suggestions. I'm not sold on this. I just think it would look kind of cool with a navy and bronze gloss, bronze wheels. So, let me know in the comments below what you think we should do to the old ZR1. Thank you guys so much for watching the entire series of rebuilding a destroyed ZR1 parts one through 10. We'll still have more of the ZR1 on the channel, but the actual series is over, which means now we have room in the channel for a new series. So let me know what you hope to see on the new series. Thanks for watching Demolition Rich. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Whoa. Oh. Hey, what camera is that, number? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Mayor.